Kayla, thanks again for watching the kids. While I catch up on work, I probably need about an hour. Hmm. This might be the new manager. I've been waiting to call me back. <clears throat> Hello? Cat, it's Ricky. Please do not hang up. Please, I'm begging you. What? How are you? Did you get a new number? I blocked you. And also, I don't have very long to talk. Look, I come in peace. This isn't going to take long. I just wanted to say I'm sorry for everything I did. And now that I'm not drinking as much, drinking as much, I'm not an AA, but like, what, what does that even mean? Drinking as much. Just, just let me finish. Now that I'm not drinking as much, I realize I made a huge mistake. It was all me. I'm the one who made the mistake. And what was that? You know, sleeping with that girl behind your back. This haunts me every single day. Every single day I think about how I did this to you. Yeah, it was pretty hurtful. Is there, is that all? <laughs> no, um, you know, I grew up not having a good father figure to figure all this out. So I'm just figuring this out by myself. And, you know, it's a lot sometimes. But um, also, I was wondering if you're not using the promise ring, if I could have that back. Wow, I actually thought you were calling me to apologize. No, no, I am. I am. I just thought if you're not using it, um, might as well give it back. So, you know, like I have all those court fines from stuff and I have some other stuff coming up. So I just, it would just help me a lot. Yeah, I guess I'm not using it anyways, but yeah, I can put it in your mailbox sometime this week. Thanks. I knew you would understand. You're, you're really good at understanding. Um, or I could come over later and, you know, get the ring and we could see if there's sparks still there, if you know what I mean. Makeup. Ew, no, that definitely is not going to happen and it will never happen again. Fine, it was worth a try. You can't blame me. I'm lonely. I figured you were lonely. <laughs> Doesn't hurt anything. <laughs> but on a serious note, I, I'm sorry. I really wish I could go back in time. I really miss you. You know, betraying someone's trust takes a lot of time and healing. I've been in therapy and, you know, now it's hard for me to trust other people. So maybe next time just think about not doing that to your partner. I'm gonna throw this out there. <clears throat> this wouldn't have happened if you... Nope, I'm not going there. Nope, not even going to touch that boundary. Whatever. Some stuff happened, so I'm just, I'm going through a lot, and I figured you'd understand, and maybe we could talk. You know, I don't think that's asking a lot. Okay, well, I am busy. I have work to catch up on, so again, I'll drop off the ring sometime this week. Goodbye. <sighs> Zach, honey, you have to wait until your sister's up and your dad gets Fine. here. But can I look at the elf on the shelf? Yes, let's go look at the elf. Let's go do that. Okay, Zach, you can open up one present, Yay. but we gotta wait until your dad gets here. This is him. Mm. Hello? Hey, Kat, it's Matt. I had a family emergency come up this morning. My dad called me very frantic. I'm headed over to his house. He hasn't really told me what's going on, but I'm, I'm not gonna be able to make it over there this morning. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Is there anything that I can do? Yes, could you FaceTime with me so I could see Zach open up his big present? Okay, I can do that. Are you sure you don't want me to have him wait until you can get here? No, no, I, I thought about that. I did, but I don't want him to know I'm not there. He also has to wait for his present. He was so excited. I think it'll be okay if we just let him open it. I can be there on FaceTime, and then I should I should be there later this afternoon to tuck him in. Okay, yeah, I can do that. No worries. Um, just keep me updated on what's going on. Later that day. What a day. I feel so bummed that I couldn't be here this morning. Things happen all the time that are out of our control. You know, they still had a good Christmas, and at least you were here before they went to bed. Yeah. So what happened? My mom woke up, realized she forgot something at the store, got in her car, 
drove two blocks. Some idiot ran a red light, hit her. So she ended up in the hospital. And so when I got to my dad's, we drove over there and we waited around for a couple hours and um, she had a concussion, a fractured wrist, but she's home right now. So I got, drove my dad back home and uh, yeah, they're, she's doing okay. It could have been worse, but you know, definitely not how anyone imagined how we would start our Christmas morning. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Yeah, but you know, just trying to stay focused on the positive. She's home now, like I said, and <clears throat> she she's here. So that's all we could ask for. That's good. I'm glad she was able to go back home on Christmas. Thanks. I appreciate you being a good mom and doing what you can, even though I couldn't be here. And that, like I said, definitely not how I wanted the morning to go, but I still really wanted to give you your Christmas gift. Thank you. Mistletoe? Yeah, I could show you how to use it if you want. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it, but I'm not sure how it works. <laughs> I just take this and put it here. Oh, I remember how this works. I start to lean in for a kiss under the mistletoe, right? Exactly. Rockhead, Mom! Are you Mom! Okay? My tummy really, really hurts. It hurts bad. Okay, it's probably from all those cookies that you ate. No, I don't think it's that. Okay, let's try taking some medicine, okay? I can go get the medicine if you want. Where is it? Yes, that would be great. It's above the sink. <clears throat> Hey, Kat. Yeah? Merry Christmas, and thanks for being such a good mom. Merry Christmas, Matt. Thank you, and I'm thankful that you're in my life. Hey, Kayla. Hey, so did you have any plans tonight? What are your plans for New Year's Eve? Honestly, I didn't have anything planned. I'm just still catching up on work. But um, yeah, as far as tonight, I didn't have anything planned. Well, I got a last minute babysitter. So what if we go out and celebrate? We go out dancing, have a girls night. I think it'll be really fun. Actually, that sounds like that would be a good time. I have been so busy with work and the kids. I have not had a night off but let me see if I can find a babysitter and then I'll get back to you. Hey, okay, just let me know. If you can't find anybody, let me ask my babysitter. She'd be fine with a couple more kids, plus our kids get along, so it wouldn't be a big deal. Sounds good. Oh, it's Matt. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's Matt. I hope you had a good day. Um, I was just calling to see if you wanted me to bring over some games tonight. We could hang out with the kids, you know, celebrate the new year together once they go to bed. Oh, um, Kayla actually just called me and asked if I wanted to go out with her, but... No, that sounds great. You deserve a night off with your friend. I know work has been stressful for you, so why don't I come over? I just watch the kids. Don't even worry you know, just enjoy your night off with your friend. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I would love to spend more time with Zach and Raquel. I think it'll, it'll be good for everybody. That would be amazing. Thank you. Um, off subject, the night that Raquel got sick, she ate that cupcake from the bakery. And I was thinking I could call them, you could call them, but I think we should call them and just let them know that she got sick from the cupcake just in case, you know, the flour was bad or something. I just think it's good if we let them know. Oh, wow. That's odd and not good. Um, I do know Brooke, the owner, she's the one who made the cupcakes for me. So I will contact her as soon as I get off the phone with you and just let her know. Cause yeah, she needs to know then if Raquel got sick from that cupcake. Okay, she's feeling better now. She wasn't sick that long um, once I gave her medicine, but I figured it's still good for the bakery to know just in case. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we definitely should say something to her. Yeah, I'm going to contact her, but I will see you later. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. Kayla, Matt's going to watch the kids. I will be ready this evening. I look forward to it. 
now I have to go get ready. Oh, that's so sweet of Matt to watch the kids for you. Let me know what time you want me to pick you up. I also have to go get ready. I have the perfect dress. Joshua, I'm going to go get ready, okay? I still think it's so sweet that Matt offered to watch the kids so you could come out. But are you sure you wouldn't rather stay in with him? Yeah, I'm sure. It's not every night that you get a babysitter, plus Matt and I can hang out other times. Um, but before I go dance, I'm going to need some liquid courage. Do you mind if I get a drink? Not at all. Just because I don't drink, I never feel guilty if you want a drink. It is totally fine. Okay, just checking. I would never want you to feel uncomfortable. So, did Matt say anything before you left? He did. He looked me up and down and then said, wow, you look beautiful. And then he quickly said, you know, don't worry about how late you come home. And in the morning, he'll get up with the kids. Oh my gosh, I love that. He is seriously the best. He literally is the best and he is such a good lover. <sighs> but I'm just nervous that I'm going to mess it up because I messed it up the first time. I made so many stupid decisions, so I'm really hoping that I don't do anything to mess this up again. We were all young and stupid at one time, trust me. I made my fair share of mistakes, but you're older now, you learn from them, you know what you want, that's completely different. I never really thought of it like that, but you're so right, thanks. that dancing makes me really thirsty. Me too. Whew. Do you see anyone here that you want to share a kiss with? Not that I've seen. Hmm. <gasps> what about him? Uh, no. Plus, he's doing the robot. Like, who does the robot anymore? Yeah, it's not a very good robot either. It is not. <laughs> hey, um, do you know what time it is? Wow, it's already 11.25. Hmm, do you think Matt is still up? Uh, I don't know. He texts me around 9 and said the kids were asleep and he's on the couch watching TV. And if I know Matt and he's sitting on the couch watching TV, he is likely asleep. So, has he said anything about the almost kiss on Christmas? Oh, he hasn't said anything, and now I'm starting to feel like maybe he regrets the decision. Hmm, has he done anything or said anything to make you feel that way? No, he just hasn't brought it up at all. He hasn't said anything about it. You know how guys are. They're not going to want to sit around and talk about it. I'm sure he's also still like, you know, going through everything he went through with his mom. I'm sure that was really upsetting. But what if you go home and you surprise him for a New Year's Eve kiss? Yeah, that, that might work. But are you sure? Yeah, the babysitter keeps texting me that Joshua is worried about me and he's refusing to go to sleep. So I might just head home early. Okay, yeah, let's go then. Plus, my contacts have been killing me. I hate wearing them, so I am ready to take these out. Hey, Joshua, I'm home. Why aren't you in bed? I was worried about you. I don't know why you were out so late. Oh, well, it's not yet midnight. Do you want to go count down with me? And maybe you can be my New Year's kiss. Ew, gross, Mom, no. Okay, fine. I know you're too old for kisses, so how about a high five? I guess. Okay, come on, let's go. Matt, I'm home. Happy New Year's. <laughs>